Hey friends, welcome back to the kitchen. So we're gonna do a five ingredient beef stew that takes phenomenal. The prep time is about five to seven minutes. We're gonna put this over in the crock pot after for about four to six hours. Now what we're first gonna do is cut up the onion for flavor. So you might be saying, why the onion? The onion is just about flavor. Yes, you might get some prebiotic fiber. You might get some polyphenolic compounds. I, I'm just all about flavor because when you have good foods, you wanna eat them more. I'm, I've done the bland, boneless, skinless chicken breast, white rice, oatmeal thing in the past, kind of over that in this point in my life. And when things taste better, my daughter, who's 11, is more likely to consume them. So here we go. So what we're gonna do, we took some uh, grass-fed butter. We're gonna put that on the pan. I like to put this on a medium setting. It's gonna cook in the background while we're peeling and taking the skin off of our sweet potatoes here. Now you might be saying, well Mike, why would you be having sweet potatoes? You might be on a low carb diet. You might be on a carnivore diet. Well, I like to exercise. I feel like weight training, resistance training is very important for metabolic health, building muscle, aging better, maintaining strength over time. And I have found that having carbohydrates before and after exercise not only helps you have a good workout, but you recover better, you're stronger, so I like to have carbs. That's just me, I don't have diabetes, I don't have pre-diabetes, I'm not obese. So, I'll start with the spices. So we have the Pluck Seasoning, we are an affiliate for this company, great company. You have grass-fed liver, spleen, pancreas, and heart, plus it tastes phenomenal. So we have two pounds of stew meat here from our local rancher. I went direct, paid this rancher via Venmo, there's no middleman, there's no grocery store, there's no Tyson, this is right from a local grass-fed rancher. Move this back, because now we're going to skin the potatoes. Now, this is an extra step. This is an optional step for some of you that are, that are keen on optimizing gut health, digestive health. I have found that the potato skins, sometimes they would end up in my stool, which I didn't think was helpful because it's not being absorbed. And after hanging out with my friend Bill Schindler, who wrote this book, Eat Like a Human, I am convinced that part of the reason why I wasn't digesting the potato skins, and these happen to be purple sweet potato skins, is because of the anti-nutrients in the skin. So I just peel them. It, it literally takes a few minutes, and we have a few minutes to burn because remember, we're caramelizing the onions. So why the purple sweet potatoes? They have a polyphenolic compound known as the anthocyanidins that you also find in blueberries. And so what I'm gonna do is just take one, going to rinse it, take this 499 Oxo uh, peeler. Again, this is an optional step. If you're even more lazy than me, maybe you don't do this, but I like to do this just from a digestive standpoint. Um, if there were any pesticides or herbicides used uh, on this uh, sweet potato, maybe we're minimizing exposure to that by peeling it. Very simple, okay? Um, also, if you were to ferment the potatoes, as Bill has great recipes on in the book, you also want to peel them as well. What I found for these longer ones, first of all, I'll give them a nice rinse because I didn't grow these myself, bought them from the store. I mean, look at how nice and purple these are, friends. So this is, you know, a lot of people talk about, well, blueberries have polyphenols. Well, what about raspberries? Well, you know, I've been a fan of purple rice and purple potatoes for a long time because of the, of the polyphenols. Now, I know a lot of people, you know, Paul Saladino and others will say, well, there's really no benefits to polyphenols. And I would disagree. I think there are benefits to the polyphenols. I don't think you need to necessarily supplement with a greens or reds drink to get them. But when you're choosing carb sources, why not choose blueberries or the purple sweet potatoes instead of the white ones? That's just my thinking. So I cut them up just about like that. The nice thing about the crock pot is it's going to uh, cook these down and make them very soft anyway. So they'll kind of uh, mash up. So again, the cost on this dish, depending upon what you paid for the meat, as I told you in other videos, because we buy directly from the rancher himself, you know, we're paying about $3.95 a pound, which is just a bargain, especially in this economy, which is why I suggest finding a local rancher, buying local, uh, you cut out the middlemen. The cost on this dish, I would say, even if you were to go to the grocery store, would be about $20, $25, but you're getting two pounds of meat, you're getting healthy carbohydrates, and it's gonna taste really good with the onions. So let's talk order of operations. We have now minced up our purple sweet potatoes. We've peeled them, minimizing oxalates, anti-nutrients. We've sauteed our onions. What I'm going to do, because flavor is really important, 
and these sweet potatoes are gonna cook longer than the meat. So what I am going to do now, is we're gonna go over here, Sam, we can check out our onions. You want just a little bit of caramelization here, and that will, this will hopefully make the dish uh, taste a lot better. Then we're just gonna transfer these over to, again, I'm not even using the, the proper utensils here. This is how lazy I can be <laughs> with cooking. It's all about just going fast. So now that we have that there, again, I like a wooden spatula because when you're dealing with heat, you don't want the plastic or silicone coming off in your food. And what I did very simply, just mix the onions in with the purple sweet potatoes that have been peeled. Now we're going to add our pluck seasoning. I like the original. They also have a zesty garlic that tastes phenomenal. So now we have our organ meats. We have grass fed liver, spleen, kidney, and heart. So we're gonna mix that around. Again, we're going for flavor. We want your kids to be able to enjoy this. Okay, if we wanna get fancy, we can add more butter. But what I'm going to do is just start putting in, this is a pound and a half of our stew meat. And again, the reason why we made the onions like we did, we sauteed them, is because this stew meat, as you can see, it's very lean. And so we want the flavor to be brought out. And so that's why we're, we're adding in the spices and the sauteed onions, okay? So total prep time, I think we're now close to five minutes, maybe not even. And we are essentially done. Okay, so we have our, our crock pot basically ready. So I just put it in here like so. And what I like about this particular version, I used to have an older version of the crock pot. It sounds a little bougie, but these connector pieces help trap in the heat and the moisture. So I like to lock this down. And then what I do is I'm going to transfer this to the eight hour on the low cook mode. Now you might say, well, Mike, why not the high cook mode? I am a big believer in using water and the natural water in the foods and low heat to cook your food. Um, I, I do like the pressure cooker periodically for rice or things like that. But when given the, the option with time, I like to cook things low and slow. And so that's it, my friends. We, we almost have this basically done. What I might do is come in in about an hour or two, something like that, and stir this around. But I really want those sweet potatoes to start cooking quickly because they will cook much slower than the stew meat. And so we want that to really start to cook so that when everything is done, it's nice and soft and has a great texture. But if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Please hit that like button. Let me know what you think about this recipe and related recipes that we've been sharing on this channel. If you have any comments, questions, let me know in the section below. And if you want to check out the spices by our pals over at Pluck, I will put a, a link. This is an affiliate link. It's a phenomenal product. My daughter absolutely loves this and she has no idea that she's getting spleen, pancreas, liver, and heart in her foods. But I feel that those micronutrients are helpful. So thanks for watching all the way through. We'll catch you on a future cooking video down the road. How am I supposed to get up this? Whoa! How are you supposed to do this? Oh, I just did it. Oh, I mean, I can, but I can't. You can't really, because I'm doing a competition. Yeah. No, 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 I can't.